Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use an underarm thermometer. This will be a full tutorial with basic instructions, so let's get right into the video. If you want to use an underarm thermometer, it's fairly straightforward and simple. I have this one example of an underarm thermometer right here, but they come in many different shapes and sizes. Well, they all actually look very similar, but I should say they come in many different brands and models. With regards to shapes and sizes, some might be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but the shape is always going to be very similar. Now, what you want to do is start off by removing the uh, protective cover because you're most likely going to have a protective cover or a protective cap, so remove that. And you want to make sure that you're actually using the part that has the metal contact point because that's what's going to measure your temperature, right? If you're trying to measure your temperature and you have the, 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 the cover on, it might not be getting a reading and that's the reason why. So take off that cover, expose that metal piece right there, okay? Now, most of the time, what you're gonna have to do is push the power button to turn the unit on, okay? And then you're gonna just measure the temperature, but sometimes there's a separate temperature measurement button. I'm gonna demonstrate with this one how I would do it. Um, you wanna push the button to turn the unit on. This is the power button. I've now turned the unit on. So the unit is now on. And what you're gonna do is make this metal contact point touch your skin of your armpit. So I'm gonna do it with my shirt right here, but if I was actually trying to measure my temperature, I would be doing it directly on the armpit skin. So I'm gonna take the metal contact point, I'm gonna place it where the armpit skin would be roughly in the middle, and I'm gonna close my armpit on it like that, and you should have it closed tightly enough that it can just be held in place. Now, it's gonna start reading the temperature and it's likely gonna give you an audible signal, like a beeping sound when it has re finished reading the temperature. Most of the time, these underarm thermometers, they climb in temperature, so you just wait there until it lets you know that it's read your temperature. And they oftentimes, because they're really accurate for the most part, they take a little bit, a little bit longer than, let's say, like an ear thermometer, right? So you're gonna give it some time to measure your temperature. When it beeps, you're gonna read your temperature and you're good to go, it was actually almost done reading, but it wouldn't be accurate because I do have my shirt on right now, but right now it's, it's continuing to climb, um, but it hadn't reached a, a, a point yet. Maybe I'll leave it for the rest of the video just until it reaches the point where it is fully measured. Essentially, that's the process. When it finishes measuring your temperature, you're just going to basically uh, read what temperature it shows. Um, however, is you might have a button that you have to push to actually measure the temperature. So I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. It's actually sort of uh, frozen at this temperature. So I think that it's read the temperature. I probably just didn't hear the beeping or maybe this one doesn't even beep. I'm not sure. I haven't used it in a while. I use a different type of thermometer, but essentially at the end of the day, you know, it's gonna tell you the temperature and that's gonna be the temperature. So it does say temperature. I'm not gonna say it out loud because it doesn't really matter because it's irrelevant because it's with my shirt on. So it doesn't, it's not really accurate. So make sure the metal contact point is touching the middle of your armpit make sure that temperature is holding steady that's so you know that's your temperature and uh, yeah you might have to push a button to read the temperature if not you just turn it on leave it like that and you're good to go it takes you know a little bit longer like i said than some of the other types of thermometers but it does offer a uh, pretty good accuracy at least from my understanding of it so that's it. if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe oh sorry before i finish they turn it off when you're done. Most of them will have an auto off function, but make sure you turn it off when you're done because the battery will run out if it doesn't automatically turn off. And even if it's left on and it turns off automatically for two, three, four, five, ten 10 minutes later, you know, you're still going to reduce your battery life. Um, so just make sure to turn it off. You most likely just have to push the power button again and replace the cover. Now that is actually it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.